Am I buying my dentist Porsche? Well, I'm driving a Nissan and I'm gonna give you three reasons why a root canal treatment is so expensive. Have you ever had a root canal treatment and wondered why is it so expensive? Am I buying my dentist Porsche? Well, I'm driving a Nissan and I'm gonna give you three reasons why a root canal treatment is so expensive. I will be pretty open about some of my own numbers, but mind you, I practice in Belgium and the situation can be different in other countries. So I'm not gonna compare apples with oranges, um, but let's go. So reason number one, costs. And what do I mean by costs? Well, if you pay your dentist, in my case, 500 euros for a root canal treatment of a molar, this is not the money that the dentist will put in his pocket. Sadly, it isn't. This is the turnover. And turnover minus the costs is what we call profit before taxes. So what are these costs? We have indirect costs and direct costs. So what are indirect costs? Indirect costs are all the costs that keep on running, even if you don't practice. So for example, these are the loans to buy an office, loans to renovate a place to make it suitable for an office, but also loans that you take as a dentist to buy the big equipment, for example, the dental chair, the microscope, the, the x-ray machine, the 3D scan, all these things. They are quite expensive and these are indirect costs. Another thing is the wages of your assistant. So assistants also cost money. And you may think like, how much can these things cost? Well, for example, if you have a, an empty space which you can arrange into a cabinet, it will probably in Belgium cost you about 150,000 euros to make it suitable to start an endodontic office. So 150,000. Mind you that they don't make them like they used to. So this also goes for dental chairs. So after a few years, you will probably start running into costs to repair the chair. And maybe after 10 years or 15 years, you will have to replace it. Same goes with microscope, x-ray machines. They all have a limited time span. The assistant, to give you an example, this is the Belgian situation again. A full-time assistant will cost the office owner about 40 to 50,000 euros each year. This is not what she earns. Sadly for her, most of the money goes to the government. So we have those costs. Also insurances. You, this goes from anti-theft insurance, malpractice insurance, fire insurance, all types of insurances and they cost quite a lot of money too. So I think you get the picture what indirect costs are. Direct costs, what is this? This is literally the material that your dentist will use to do a root canal treatment. This goes for the files and you might think, what are the files? Well, this for example, you see your dentist working in the root canal treatment with these small files and you wonder, this cannot cost that much. Well, this is for one treatment and will cost about 75 euros. And this is just one thing that we use. Of course, you have the gloves, the mouth mask, all the disposables. You have the liquids we use to rinse with, the filling material. All these things are direct costs. So indirect costs and direct costs. Now you may think, how much can this be? Well, recently I had a financial audit of my office and it was very surprising to see. So basically for every 100 euro turnover that we have in our office, 78 euro goes to costs. This is the overhead we have. This leaves 22 euros per 100 euro that we earn and this is our profit before taxes. Sadly, like I said, I live in Belgium and if you don't have your own company, then the government probably will take about 50% of this profit. This means that for every 100 euro turnover we have, we have a net profit of about 11 euros. So you see, it's not that much that remains. Of course, I'm not saying that we don't make a decent living. We do, as dentists, we absolutely do. But this put things into perspective. So the second reason is time. Now we all know the saying, time is money. And as you probably know, if you ever had a root canal treatment, a root canal treatment is not a quick treatment. It takes a lot of time. And like I told you with the first part, 
indirect costs are the costs that keep on running. So the more time that I use for my root canal treatment, the more it will cost me as a dentist. So this is the reason why time also raises the price of the treatment. And the third and final reason is skills. What do I mean with skills? I'm an endodontist, so a root canal specialist, and it took me many years to master my skills, to master to do root canal treatments up to a very high level. So for some reason, many patients think like doctors are doctors, dentists are dentists. We, we never have problems when we are saying like, oh, this is a good technician and this is a bad one. I'm, I'm just going to go with a good one. Or this is a good cook and this is a bad cook. So this, this is normal. But when it comes to medical stuff, it's always the same. Doctors are doctors, dentists are dentists. There are no bad doctors. There are no bad dentists. Sadly to say this, but there are. So taking many years of extra education, following extra courses, working on your skills, well, this is going to make the treatment more expensive because I deliver a service that your regular dentist could not do. So because of this higher skill set, the treatment will cost more. You can compare this with eating in a Michelin star restaurant and McDonald's. So if you go to the Michelin star restaurant, the costs of the ingredients will be higher. So this was our first reason. They take way more time to prepare everything. Our second reason. And of course, the chef is more skilled than this guy working at McDonald's. I'm not saying that McDonald's cannot be tasty from time to time, but of course, we all agree that if you go to this Michelin star restaurant, it's going to be more expensive and we accept this. And it's exactly the same if you go to a root canal specialist compared to a dentist. So if you liked the video and you watched it until the end, thanks a lot. I will keep uploading videos every Thursday. It was a little bit late today, but I had a very busy week and I will see you next week. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notifications for the next video.